there's always the option for an individual monk to give up alcohol, to give up beer, to give up wine. But traditionally, beer has been something that monks have drank more of uh, during Lent because they're fasting. Uh, the monks eat only one meal a day, often late in the afternoon. So a beer was a way to add sustenance to that meal. So many people are afraid of going to church, afraid of talking about God, afraid of things that have to do with religion, but they're so much more easily we'll talk about beer. Uh, so for us, it's a way to open a door, a door that maybe they've, they've never wanted to open before. Then naturally, from a material point of view, this also helps us restore our monastery. We have ancient buildings here. Uh, the crypt comes from the first century. Uh, we have uh, 14th century walls around the, whole, uh, around the whole property, and all of them need constant maintenance, constant support. So it al also enables us to keep the building not just in shape, but also beautify it, make it into something really beautiful to glorify God. Give me a hose. Yep. We looked at making a blonde and a Belgian strong dark, which are kind of the symbols of, of monastic brewing. Uh, so we, we decided on that style because it's, it's well known as representing monastic beers. Uh, they're, they're pretty traditional, and so we, and I personally like that type of beer. So. <laughs> Yeah, one thing we had to keep in mind was making a beer that would be appreciated by Italians. We, we heard a lot that they wouldn't like a beer that was very hoppy, very bitter. And so we had to kind of keep that in mind as well, that we're in a country where wine is the principal drink. Also, just manual labor tips. Um, Should we expand? Many people ask us this because the beer is very good. They really appreciate it and say, when are you going to become so much bigger? And our answer is generally no. We're, we can maybe add one or two more small fermenters. We don't want to grow to a big commercial size. We want to brew at a high quality, what we're able to brew at a high quality, um, and still live our monastic life of prayer and not... Um, and to not have to hire people from the outside so that we can do everything ourselves as monks. Um, which will limit us in our production. And so our response is we make what we make and 
You'd have to get in line to buy it. <laughs> Et tot jorum meum, tu contam 